The hydraulic jack in the figure below is filled with oil with a specific weight of 56 pounds of force per cubic foot. Neglecting the weight of the two pistons, what force on the handle would be needed to support the 2,000 pound force weight for this design? Pascal's law allows us to say the pressure on both sides of the oil channel are the same. I'm going to call this A, I'm going to call this B. And what we can say as a result of Pascal's law is that PA is equal to PB. Because the pressure increases on a constrained fluid everywhere at the same height the same. Furthermore, these pistons, which are shown in white, are assumed to be weightless, which means that, effectively, the weight of the 2,000 pound weight is applied directly at point A, and the force exerted on this lever, or by this lever, is exerted at point B. So we're going to use Pascal's law to relate the force applied at A to the force applied at B by recognizing that the pressure A can be written as the force at A divided by the area at A, and the pressure at point B can be described as the force at B divided by the area B. These are presumably circular pistons, which means that their area can be written as pi over 4 times diameter squared. FA is known, so I can write FB as being pi over 4 times diameter B squared divided by pi over 4 times diameter A squared times FB. Pi over 4 cancels, so I can write this as diameter B over diameter A quantity squared times FB. Excuse me. Times FA. I could calculate that numerically if I wanted to, or I could leave it symbolically. B is a one inch piston, is one inch in diameter. A is three inches, so I can write this as one divided by three quantity squared times 2,000, and I get 2,000 divided by nine. Thank you, calculator. 222.222 pounds of force. And handling the lever is just going to be a statics problem. So I have a fulcrum. I have a force at a distance of one inch. And then at a distance of 16 inches, because it's 15 plus 1, I have a force down, which is F. So I'm going to call this point over here C for fulcrum, C. And then sum of moments, let's call this positive, must equal 0. Therefore, the clockwise moment must equal the counterclockwise moment, which is going to be F times 16 inches is equal to FB times 1 inch. So F is equal to FB times the quantity 1 over 16. And if I had wanted to, I could leave FB as diameter B over diameter A squared times FA and handle all of this in a single calculation. That's fun, right? So times 1 over 16 yields 125 divided by 9. Thank you, calculator. 13.889 pounds of force. So we have two mechanical advantages here. We have the lever of the handle itself, and then we have the mechanical advantage as the result of different diameter pistons in a hydraulic system. So it takes only 13.9 pounds to support this 2,000 pound weight. We are offsetting literally a ton. Cool, huh?